This conference will now be recorded. All right, so today is Thursday, March 14th, about midway through our trading month. And as always, everything that we're going to be talking about today is for educational purposes only, and nothing is intended as any type of investment advice. All right, guys, so before we get started, just remember we have our level two classes starting today. Uh, we'll begin at 10 a.m. I'll be sending the link out as soon as we're done with our meeting. And then also our second, our level uh, lesson two class will begin at 3 p.m. Eastern time this afternoon. So let's take a look at a few things that we have going on out there. It is definitely a Thursday morning because I don't really see too much, but we do have two main focuses coming into this morning. So first one it's going to be looking at is ATOS. So we saw a few on the first way up. We did get a little bit of buying, but really not as much as I would have expected at all. Now, the sixth level does have some ass prints that came back in. And then on our way back down just now, we did just get a bunch of aspirants at that five. So if we look over here, we're pretty much sitting in a staircase. Um, so really what we'd be looking for is that uh, that trigger back to break up above five and then get us back to the sixth level where we had buying come in a little bit earlier. Biggest thing that I do not like here is that we are in you know a pretty much perfect short considering the fact we pushed into that 650 level, did not hit and ended up triggering back down. So this five is definitely very mixed. It's just going to be a matter of being able to hold this consolidation because we do have the buying up above um, once we do get a trigger for us to be able to kind of, you know, to get that that move back up to at least that double top, which is a huge amount of room for such a cheap stock. The range is incredible this morning. Um, volume's looking great. Everything about it looks real good. It's just, I really wish we would have got a little bit more coming up that first time um, around that five level, which we, we really didn't. But once again, has that, that buying above that six. So trigger back to the upside and we will be on our way. Next one is AKTX. So AKTX, um, I, <laughs> to be completely honest with you, I didn't really see a reason in any way why we would, uh, be jumping up this much now yes it did have a ton of buying around that five um yeah uh, level from yesterday now we did see you know right before the market um it closed we did get a nice strong push into it all right we do have some nice bid prints that came in as well when we were coming back down towards that five level from yesterday so one thing that i really it, you know pushing up towards that 10 level okay we did not make it up towards 10 we had about 980 and then we kind of you know started coming back down but we are holding in this consolidation right now at that eight uh, so overall, if we take a look at the actual print, you can see there is a lot of selling coming into it. And I really, really, really would have liked to see some more buying. I mean, the buying is just hasn't hasn't been coming in as strongly as I would like to see for such a cheap stock and how strong the stock actually looks. So most of the time when we see something like that happen, we end up seeing it come right back down. Um, and essentially, they have made their money you know, already right now. 10 being a big level to be able to break and we could see that there just was not enough interest back up there so this print line means everything if we break below that print line at eight i'm pretty much we're going to be done with it if we can hold up here and get a trigger back towards that buying around that nine level and then back to you know our double top at 950 so it's almost the same type of deal as what we're looking at in atos we just really want to you know a nice strong trigger back to that buying towards where the highs are and then other than that, let's take a look at our scanners because overall, it isn't really giving us too much. So we have HJLI, nice little move this morning, but on absolutely no volume, no real trading going on, nothing we can do with it. AKTX, we already know about, obviously. SFET, SFET is not terrible, but as we started coming up and pushing towards this 350, same type of deal. We you know, we ended up triggered, nah, pushing towards that major level, not hitting it, and pulling right back. You can see the buying you know, out here on the bigger side of things isn't really that great at all. When we're coming up to three. There's a little bit there, but not as much as I would like to see at all. So unfortunately, based off of the move that we're seeing already, I am seeing way too much selling for my comfort. All right, I am going to put this on our side list, but it's uh, it's not looking great. It's on the bottom of that side list because of the fact, like I said, just not enough buying. Moving along, we have SMSI, 177,000 shares, but two quantity, not really doing anything. UXIN, um, same type, you know, just just consolidated within its trading, nothing really going on there either. MLNT, absolutely nothing. PPDF, nothing. And that pretty much does it. Now, Snap, Snap is just one of those stocks that I, I really am not going to, I can almost guarantee you I don't end up looking at it today just because once the market opens, even when it makes these types of moves, once we open, we end up going right into that quant type trading. On average, it moves 36 cents. So on a big day, you know, we're looking at 50 cents. So just not something that I personally am going to be watching. It just never ends up really being any, you know, a, a, even a decent trade. 
All right, then moving over to our loser side of things, it's the same type of deal. I mean, I just don't really see anything out there that's uh, that's really doing too much trading and showing us really any type of uh, any type of true show of hand. It's just very, very mixed this coming into this morning. CLDR is starting to get a little bit of volume, but this is another one. It just does not move much at all. GMRE, 311, absolutely nothing. ALRN, nothing, and that's pretty much, uh, pretty much what it's looking like across the board. I don't see... Uh, much of anything. I mean, you know, we we have some of our everyday stocks are kind of pushing a little bit. You know, some of you know jumped up, but there's just not really too much trading that I see going on out there. Jack says CLDR. Let's take a look. Yeah, so CLDR is what I was just talking about just two seconds ago. All right, I just don't see enough in here now. You know, obviously, we, you know, we took a pretty big hit, dropping from 15 down to 12. Uh, but we're just kind of stuck. And look at how it's trading already. I just I'm not a big fan of how it looks at all. Um, for, you know, to really give us any type of, of substantial movement on average trades, 50 cents. Yes, it does have a million shares. So we're going to be expecting more. But overall, once again, <laughs> there's going to be better things that pop up out there. CLG, let's take a look. I think we just, yeah, unfortunately, nothing really going on. The prints aren't bad with that 8850, but. Look at how it's trading right now. It should move. It moves at $2 on average. There's just nothing there yet um, for us to really be able to do anything with. Besides the fact, like you said, you know, like I said, overall, we do have more selling prints than we do have buying at, at 89. You had that one uh, one ass print that came in at uh, at 8 a.m. The rest of it has been complete, you know, pretty much complete selling, but there's just no real volume. You can see as we, you know, we get into it, the bars are just way too sporadic and there's just not really enough going on there. Now, anything else out there that I missed? We got anything else going on? Really, uh, not a you know, not a, a ton of that's going on out there this morning by any means. Nah, nah, yeah, all right. So we're pretty much going to be sitting on our uh, on our two cheaper stocks, and then once the market opens, obviously we'll start to see more things come in, and let's make sure that you know we're doing a lot of scanning as we get closer to the open because those two, you know, those cheaper stocks, a lot of the times we see them end up kind of just dying out, like we're you know kind of watching right now in that AKTX. All right, guys. So remember, classes will begin in about in uh, about 50 minutes. I'm going to be sending that email out, like I said, very uh, basically as soon as we're done with this meeting. Everyone else, I will talk to in the chat room. Happy trading.